when this forum began in 1980, uh, it was very much uh, qualitative research in general and ethnography in particular was very much considered on the edges of educational research. And, um, and that's changed a lot over the years. One of the things that's valuable about this conference is that you have scholars at all different stages. You have students, you have um, new scholars, you have people who've been around in the field for some time. I think the kinds of conversations, intergenerational conversations that go on are, are really very important and they create, I think, new opportunities for all of us to learn. We seem to do a pretty good job at getting people that will draw crowds and have something really substantive to say. Bud Meehan, a professor from University of California, San Diego, was our Friday evening keynote speaker and he talked about his um, CREATE program at UCSD and the um, school that they have developed in the last 10 years. Uh, pick a measure and low-income students of color are not doing as well as their white and middle-income counterparts. And there's conventional wisdom or conventional explanations of that, uh, that gap, if you will. Some people call it the achievement gap. I tend to think more of it as a, as a resource gap or an educational gap. Carol Lee was our Friday morning speaker. And while at the forum, she learned that she has been elected president of AERA for this year. The cultural modeling framework is built on extant cognitive research that documents the powerful role of prior knowledge as a foundation for new learning. Unfortunately, due to long-standing deficit theories, the everyday knowledge of people of color, people who are poor, people whose first language is other than English has been viewed as a constraint on learning rather than an asset. Researchers bring actual data that they're working with. It might be an interview transcript or it might be uh, a minute of a video clip. So our students do get that opportunity to present their own work, have it validated by, uh, and critiqued by you know, people who come to the forum. They also get to see, one of the beauties of the forum is it brings back expert researchers year after year, as, along with the novice researchers. So on one hand, it's been an amazing venue as someone who's becoming professionalized into the research world. To, for me, it was the first place that I presented academic research. And it wasn't, you know, you, it's a very supportive environment to do that. So knowing that everyone around you are people who are there for their love of ethnography and education. They're there for, to help cultivate the people who have started out six months ago and also the people who have been doing this for 30 years. So many forum goers come up to me and um, repeatedly say how important this event is for them in their lives as teachers or, and or researchers or both and how they come away from it you know, reinvigorated for another year.